iOS 18 has hundreds of new features and changes. Let me tell you about the best ones that I'm most excited for. Let's start with a simple one that we basically all use, Control Center. There's a huge overhaul this year. You still swipe down from that top right corner, but now there are multiple pages. You can swipe down and individually jump to each page, or you can continuously swipe to scroll to just the page that you want. The first page or so will have your favorites, while there are dedicated pages for controlling media playback, home controls, and connectivity. Also, Control Center now has a dedicated power button, so you can just swipe down and tap it, and the power off slider will appear. It's a lot easier than that complicated button mashing command to get the power off slider to appear. This alone is going to help so many people. Brilliant. There's a new edit mode enabled by tapping the plus button in the top left corner of Control Center. With this on, you can move items around, resize them with little handles, or add new items from the new control picker. You can choose any of Apple's or some from third parties. There are all sorts of options now such as accessibility features, running a shortcut, or specifying a home accessory to control. Speaking of home accessories, that's my next favorite new feature. Apple will officially support robotic vacuum cleaners and mops with iOS 18. They say you'll be able to adjust power controls, different cleaning modes, and check charge status all via Siri. They'll also be able to be included in scenes too, such as your goodbye scene that could lock the door, close your blinds, turn off the lights, and run the vacuum. One downside though is that this won't be available right at launch. I can't wait for it to arrive though, along with any other new smart home features. Following the keynote, the one feature I've seen people talk about more than almost anything has been Genmoji, which is Apple's marketing name for the ability to create any emoji you want on the fly. You can just describe what you want your emoji to be and iOS 18 will be able to generate it for you. You can then send them from the messages app just like any other emoji and they'll even match the existing Apple emoji style. Are there any emoji that you'd been hoping they would add but never did? Let me know which ones you'll create with Genmoji down below in the comments. And since we're chatting about messages, that brings me to send later. Yes, I know this has been a feature on other platforms for a while, but it doesn't mean I can't be excited to have it available on iPhone. Send later lets you schedule your messages to be sent at a future time. Maybe you're going to bed and you remember that tomorrow is someone's birthday. You can write it up and schedule it to go out the next day at 9 a.m. so you don't have to remember to send it. Oh, and one last new feature for messages, RCS. Sorry, just to interrupt myself, let's take a quick beat to thank my sponsor for this video. Can you believe it's literally been a year since Apple announced the Vision Pro? Well, I've had mine since launch, and while I love it, the stock straps leave a bit to be desired. I recently started testing the Anna Pro A1, which has made a big difference. This strap rests on your forehead, reducing the weight and the pressure that's on your face, making it more comfortable to wear. They say that pressure is reduced 60 to 90%. It's super easy to install just by sliding over the two speakers where it fits snugly in place. It comes with multiple foam inserts too, so you can swap them for the most comfortable size for you. Once on, it looks just like part of Vision Pro. It matches perfectly, and it's durable too. They say it's able to withstand 10,000 bends without a breaking, and it's made out of biodegradable material. My favorite thing though, is because it's removing that pressure from your face, you don't have to use the light shield. With the light shield removed, you can see a little bit about what's going on around you, which I find super helpful. I'm sold on this thing, but if you want to try one for yourself, I've got a link down below in the description. Thanks again to Anna Pro for sponsoring this video. RCS will allow better messaging between iOS and Android users with higher resolution images and GIF supported, sending over Wi-Fi, read receipts, typing indicators, improved group chats, and more. Apple had already announced RCS was coming last year, and we've been expecting to see it with iOS 18, but that doesn't make me any less excited for it to finally be here. When you make a phone call, Apple has a new feature that will natively allow you to record the call. It's built right into the phone app. When you enable this, it alerts both parties, so everyone knows the call is being recorded. 
That call then gets transcribed and saved. You can literally search for it, you can copy parts of the text out, or just move it over to a note or anywhere else you want to copy that conversation. This is going to come in so handy. If you have a Mac, you're going to love this new feature. iOS 18, combined with Mac OS Sequoia, you can mirror your iPhone to your Mac. Now that's been possible before, but never like this. See, when you mirror your iPhone, you'll be able to interact with it. You can use your apps, swipe, and do everything just like you were holding your phone. Audio gets routed to your Mac so you can hear what's going on. For example, I use the Cradlewise app to check on my toddler, but the app isn't available on my Mac. It can be working or I can be working, my phone notification will show up on my Mac that says Harrison is awake. I can tap that notification, which will start the mirroring, show the crib, and let me listen or even talk to H. This is just crazy cool. I also love that this works with standby mode. Just keep your iPhone docked on your desk and do what you need to do without having to touch it. The whole time, your iPhone stays locked, so it doesn't show anything on the screen that you're doing with it on your Mac. You didn't think I was going to make it through a video of the best iOS 18 features and not talk about Apple Intelligence, did you? You knew it was coming. Apple Intelligence is Apple's big push for AI. It's something the iPhone maker has been doing for years, but now taking a massive leap forward throughout the OS. It encompasses tons of new features, including ones like Genmoji I mentioned earlier. I personally love the writing tools. Anywhere that you have a text box, messages, emails, notes, writing apps, anything, you can use the new Apple Intelligence writing tools. They can help proofread to make sure what you wrote is grammatically correct. They can help you rewrite your messages in a different tone, such as friendly or professional, or use them to summarize a long block of text. Apple Intelligence can also be used for image generation. You can create images in three different styles, such as animation, sketch, and stuff like that. These can be used in messages to celebrate a birthday, or you can create images just based on your notes that you've written in the Notes app. There are so many options here. Apple created a whole dedicated app called Image Playground, where you can just play with these images and styles and share them wherever you want. The last feature to mention is how it is improving Siri. Siri will become much more capable with more natural language. You can kind of stumble through your command and Siri will still understand what your intent was. You can change it halfway through or you could string multiple commands together. Much of this is all processed on your device, privately and securely. But if it does benefit from a remote server, they're using a new feature called Secure Cloud Computing. This will anonymize your request, send it to an Apple Silicon-based server that is incapable of logging or storing anything that uses publicly available source code to be sure nothing is ever saved or compromised. All these features, and much more, will arrive this fall in iOS 18. Let me know in the comments which feature you're most excited for, and be sure you're subscribed to the channel with those notifications turned on so you don't miss all of the latest coverage.